Yo, yo, what's going on, fellas? Javal the Doomer here. I know I said I wouldn't make black pill content because honestly, I don't enjoy talking about this stuff much anymore, but a situation last night made me want to do this video. This is an important topic. How men gaslight each other, oblivious men, men that are not aware of the true nature of things, men that are not aware of female nature and how this world really works. We need to talk about it. So, I know this guy from work. Um, he has a friend. My supervisor, he has a friend. The friend is a cool dude, chill dude. I like the I like the guy. But he is he is on the shorter side. He's about like five five. He's a he's very skinny. He has a speech impediment. Right? He has a speech impediment. Now the thing is, this this guy with the speech impediment. I mean, he's, I would say, facially, about a 5 out of 10. He's not ugly, but, you know, he's not good looking, but he is very short with that speech impediment. Now, this this dude, right, when I observe him, he's always trying to talk to women. He'll he'll go up to a random woman on the street. He'll be like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? He'll say it like that, right? He'll try to speak to random women that pass by. You know, he'll try to put his two cents in, try to get their attention, and usually, from from every time I've seen, he's met with 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 uh, being ignored. He's met with even a little bit of disgust. When I've seen the reaction from these women, it's just I, I don't understand how he's been doing it so long. Now the thing is, he's a good dude and stuff, but he's very unaware of the true nature of things. If he was aware of the black pill, he would not be trying to approach random women on the street, bro. Right, and. I've noticed his behaviors and he keeps repeating the same thing, right? He the when whenever women ignore him, it doesn't seem to click in his mind that, you know, this is not an optimal strategy for, you know, women. And it can even be a dangerous strategy. We all know we don't know how these women can be if the wrong guy approaches them too often. You know, it's only a matter of time before they try to like call the police or try to label him a creep, put him on social media, some bullshit like that, call him a cat call or something, right? So it's very unfortunate to me that we we literally have men out here walking around that are not aware of the true nature of things. We have men that are overconfident. And the problem is, is that, yeah, it's good to be, I guess, confident. You know, you want to be assuring yourself, but you gotta you gotta know the reality, right? You can't just be out here saying whatever to these women because it can legit get you in trouble, right? It legit can. There was a situation involving the same dude, right? There's this lady at my job. Well, she doesn't work at my job. She's a random customer that she would come in like two times a week or something. She would yap off to me. I work at the door when I stand in, uh, uh, in Target, right? I'm a security. So she would come up to me and she would yap off to me, tell me about her life and shit. I would sort of listen. I wouldn't like tell her to get away from me or anything. I would listen, right? And so this this woman, she started oh looking for me. She would start looking for me in the store. This is like an Italian woman. She's like she said she says she's like fifty, but she actually looks like twenty. I don't know. It's crazy. She looks super young. I don't know what's up there, but yeah, this Italian woman. She would always come checking for me to to yap off to me, and I would pretend to listen. But one day, this the dude was there. The dude was there and this old Italian lady, you know, she was there as well. And what happened was my normie supervisor, not not normie as an insult, just describing, you know, how he views the world and his place in the world. You know, he his my normie supervisor encourages this young this dude with the speech impediment, you know, to go up to this lady and to, you know, try to like ax her out or some shit. You know, and so he he does that. He he goes up to the lady and he tries to ask her out. You know, and the lady, the moment the moment he says hello, I see the lady's face switch. And I never seen this lady. This lady loves to fucking yap to me. I never seen this lady um look disgusted or or want to shut up before. So for the first time, like she she had genuine disgust on her face, and like she tried to like back away, and then and then um. She was like, oh, I'm her boyfriend, which she was coming to me. And I was like, oh, um, you know, don't say hi to me. I'm I have a boyfriend and that's me. Right. And I'm not saying this to flex. Right. I'm saying this because this is a very unfortunate situation. 
Because, look, man, I know my normie supervisor knows for a fact that, you know, that he that that this dude is not gonna be. I feel like my normie supervisor just tells him to like go up to girls and shit as like a joke, right? To like try to get him to you know try when he knows that it's not gonna work, right? And this is what I mean by men gaslighting other men, right? Because when you're not aware of the black pill, especially if you're a red pillar and you think, oh, bro, you can you can talk to whatever girl. You just gotta run the right game. You you, you just gotta got your your style up. You know, when you're a red pillar, and you think that you t you tell this to other men, right? And you, you tell other men, even other men that may be in unfortunate gen genetic situations, other men that may have uh, autism, neuro neurodivergent speech impediments, you go up to these men and you tell them, yo, bro, just go, just go, just go approach her, bro. Just go approach her. Just, just approach her, bro. And you, you know how that often ends, just in, in, in fucking embarrassment, right? That, that's how men gaslight other men into, you know, trying to approach women and shit. And I think it's so sad, man. We we need to be aware of the true nature of things. You need to be aware of the black pill. So what I did is, yet last night when when he came in, you know, to do the speech impediment, I don't want to say his name or anything, but when he came in, I pulled him aside and I black filled him. I t at first I started. I told him a, a bit about a red pill. He said, "Oh, I know what the red pill, pill is. I, I know guys like Kevin Samuels, Tate, you know." And then I pulled him aside and I explained to him, "Okay, here's a black pill." You know, the truth is your height and your looks is going to have a major effect on, you know, your dating options right off the bat. Right. And he was actually agreeing with me. He was like, huh, that, that makes sense. You know, th then I started telling him about race stuff. I started telling him that his speech impediment will just make things harder. It doesn't matter what he says. You know, game is, is a myth and shit like that. I, I pulled him aside. I blackpilled him. And, you know, he was he was actually agreeing with what I was saying. I don't know if he was just agreeing to agree or if he was really listening to what i was saying but let me tell you if he really was listening to what i was saying it might really hurt him like because I'm, I'm telling you he's probably gone his whole life with people filling his head up with lies when it comes to women oh you know uh, you'll find a woman or you know um like oh you, you should just keep approaching these women you know just keep approaching these women and, and one day one day you know, a, a woman will like you or or you just got to you just got to have game or some shit. He, this is the lies that I'm sure his his head has been folded up with his whole fucking life. Right. And so I asked him, yo, have you ever had a girlfriend? He's 22. He says, nah, he's never had a girlfriend. And he, he said that the one girl that wanted to talk to him was thrown off by a speech impediment. I said, see exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. That right is black pill. You know, the black pill nature of that is that women like. Women don't really like neurodivergent men that struggle socially. Women like men that can fit in socially with no problem, right? And so it may not even be that he's neurodivergent, but the speech impediment almost makes it seem like he's neurodivergent. So, so it's kind of the same thing, right? So that's a black pill truth in of itself, right? And so, you know, I try to tell him the truth because it, it doesn't make fucking sense that you're 22 years old and you don't have a and you never had a girlfriend if the world isn't the way it is you know if if game if game worked if personality worked that dude is a good dude he's a cool dude he would have been had a girlfriend right if if, if if it was truly about game and personality the fuck he would have been had a girlfriend but for the first time i had to pull this dude aside and i had to tell him the fucking truth about this world about female nature about attraction because nobody else wants to do it. So that's why I feel like, you know, black pill channels are very important. You know, pull, pulling a dude aside and black pulling him is very important so that he can avoid embarrassing situations, so that he can avoid trouble, so that he can better strategize, you know, what to do. Because the truth is, I don't mean to roast that dude or anything, but the only way I see that dude, like, get in any type of you know vagina or whatever is is going to be through money maxing either through money maxing or geo maxing honestly because yeah that dude i i mean i i wish him well man i do but the truth is man you know he has it on hard mode i even told him that i told him like you your life is on hard mode like not even hard mode like ultra hard mode 
it would be hard mode without the speech impediment, but with that speech impediment, it's ultra hard mode. Like, I even told him that. Like, that's just the truth, bros. But of course, you know, the normies are still going to be like, oh, no, you can do whatever. You know, don't don't listen to a black filler. You can do whatever you want. Of course, they're, they're going to be like that, right? But the truth is, boys, if you have, a, if you know a normie guy and you care about him, right? If you know a guy that's completely oblivious and that keeps getting himself into embarrassing situations, you, you got to tell him the truth, man. Like, you just got to tell him the truth. Of course, don't insult him. You know, don't don't um make him feel super bad, but you do got to tell him the truth, bro. You know, so if, if he's watching this video, which he might, you know, I wish you all the best, man. Like, for real, I just wanted to tell you the truth about this world, man. Like, honestly. But yeah, guys, I avoid these gaslighting normies, man. You know, know, know the truth. Know how humans really work. You know, understand the black pill. But that's all I got to say for now, man, honestly. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.